Hi, and welcome to Splinter Karma. This time I'm going to show you how to install a closet light pole that turns on automatically. What I really like about this setup is that it puts the light exactly where you need it, with no shadows. To install this system, you'll need the alloy LED light pole and bracket, the alloy LED dimmable driver, as well as the Lutron Maestro motion sensor. I'll put links to all of this in the description below. Before doing any wiring, I'm cutting the power at the main breaker box. The first step was to install the LED driver in the attic and then run 24 volt wire down into the closet walls. I'm replacing this dimmable LED switch with the motion sensor switch. And before disconnecting the switch, I'm double checking the power is truly off. Changing the old switch for this new motion sensor was the easiest part of this project. I forgot to film the first time I flipped the switch on, but take my word for it, it was very satisfying. The Lutron Maestro Sensing Dimmer has a lot of advanced features and learns how you want to use the light. Uh, but at its most basic level, you just turn it off or on manually and it'll dim down and shut off. But when you leave it in the on position, after five minutes, it's going to turn itself off until it detects additional motion. The light pole comes with a pigtail wire, and because it's 24 volt, it's okay to connect it and slip it back into the wall. Before I installed the shelf, I pre-drilled a hole slightly larger than the light pole so I would have some leeway to move it back and forth. Aside from some of the electrical work, I would rate this as a simple project, especially if you already have lights and a switch in your closet. In that case, you could pull the 120 power from the switch and mount the LED driver inside the closet. Once the collars are screwed to the wall, a small Allen nut secures the pole in place. The last step is to screw the center bracket to the bottom of the shelf. It's worth noting that the mounting position for the center bracket determines where the collar is going to be screwed to the side support. The need for the center bracket is obvious. The pole itself is really soft. For that reason, I also attached a hardwood board to the leading edge of the shelf to stiffen it up. That said, the poles in our other closet are three feet long and are holding up fine. Thanks for watching, and if you want good splinter karma, please like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.